Hello. Today I would like to show you how to open the PRC351 or the RT351. And opening is extremely easy because it's just a uh, 8 bolt which are absolutely amazing. This is a very good design. You just remove this 4 bolt from one side other 4 bolt from the another and we can pull the internal part from the chassis and let's let's do that you have to start from the back from the side with where we've got the audio connector and the and the mode selector and for opening we need a bit that is looking like this of course you should use without a hole inside but i do not have so that's the one i'm going to use and we are just going to put it over here and you do not want to unscrew them completely because they are, are locked in the main chassis so we are not going to lose them which is great and as you can see that's everything you need to you need to unscrew okay and we have to watch out because there is a flex tape and I have to check we are on the correct correct side and we've got a connector over here and we have to pull that connector in that direction so I'm going just to wiggle it a little bit and we are unplugged and this is our first part of the radio I can show you exactly how it looks like we've got a rubber gasket which is a very important to have a good seal I'm going to give you a close-up over here we've got our audio ports and here are the terminals for the remote control and the mode selector for the for the remote operation over here we can select if we want to have like a remote control or the local that's how it looks like I can see a, a transformer over there okay and the other thing over here we've got a water moisture removing packs that's how they look like they are very old so I'm not sure if they are working okay and as you can see that's how it looks like we've got a very nice body and now we can remove our other four screw on the other side And now we are going to push the internal part in that direction and we are ended up with our shell and the body and we can see what's inside as you can see every module is labeled We've got access to the resistors and capacitors and the coil for adjustment. We've got our crystal filters. our connector and the flex tape and 
that's looking pretty scary to me that when we are pushing this inside it will rubbing against the traces on the flags but I'm pretty sure they were smart enough to know that wouldn't cause any problem and yes after many years it's still working and we've got another modules And we've got our temp compensated crystal oscillator. So that's how it looks like. And I forget one important thing. When you would like to put it back, then you can put it in that direction but it also fit in that direction it will also fit in that direction and in that direction so how to know that we've got a proper one you have to look for the markings on the positive and the negative for the for the battery and you are just going to look at the contacts and you know that that's the the proper way right, to slide it so thank you very much for watching see you next time and bye bye